Hey folks, this is Jake Davis with an on-the-fly review for you, and today I'm talking about uh, Emma, released earlier this year in theaters, uh, directed by Autumn DeWilde, starring uh, Anya Taylor-Joy, Johnny Flynn, Maya Goss, and Bill Nye. This was, is of course, a theatrical adaptation of Jane Austen's Emma. I, of course, never read any Jane Austen. <laughs> I just haven't. Um... Not, not my cup of tea. I'm much more of a, a, a Island of Dr. Moreau kind of guy. Anyhow, uh, I did no Clueless, though. And I was a fan of Clueless. I liked that movie. Uh, so, uh, that's all I knew. As far as I could... It was really kind of cool to see this movie and uh, slim, uh, similarities. Uh, like, you know, if you've seen that film, it's very, very similar to... Uh, I mean, like, it's all the beats are still there. There's actually more beats, you know, more characters, more things going on. The story is uh, richer, of course. But uh, I really thought uh, Emma was a good movie. I'm going to give it four and a half stars. The whole setup here, of course, I'm going backwards. Uh, it's uh, Victorian ages, and Emma is a, is a rich young uh, girl, 21 years old. And she's a bit of a manipulator and a matchmaker, even though... She does mean well, mean the best for people. Uh, very charming and uh, very charming and, and really, really cute, funny performance from uh, Anya Taylor Joy. Very good in this. Johnny Flynn, first time I've ever seen this actor, was really good in this. Maya Goth is usually good, and of course, she always great. Bill Nye. Uh, I thought this film had, of course, had great costumes from uh, Alexandra Byrne, who was you know Oscar winner and just, I mean essential to the greatness of those early MCU films. My daughter's going nuts back there. She's probably driving her mom nuts. I have to go get her. Uh, anyhow, yeah, I actually, you know, uh, I'm going to give this movie, like I said, four stars. I thought, I thought Emma was a really good movie. Check it out. If you enjoy clothes, you like, you know, archie stuff. If you like stuff like Emma, you know, Down Abbey, which I've never checked out. Uh, I'm not interested in that show. Uh... But I really enjoyed this movie, and uh, I, I liked it quite a bit. Um, oh, something else I was going to say. Uh, oh, I just want to point out that I'm, uh, uh, if you've been following my channel over the last few months and stuff, because of the lack of films being released in theaters, I actually I was doing a lot of Netflix movies and straight-to-DVD So I'm not going to do shoot videos for those anymore for on-the-fly reviews. Uh, uh, I, you know, if you've been following my, like I said, if you've been following my channel, you know, wait a while or so, I've had this nearly, well, over two, over a year and a half now, but, you know, I've, I've strongly protested, like, the Academy Awards, including Netflix and streaming films for Oscar categories, even something like, you know, the, that, the O.J. Simpson documentary, which actually was a television miniseries and won the Oscar for documentary feature, that's absurd, uh, I mean, retroactively, uh, I mean, if that if that counts out, I would say The Stand was the best movie in 1994. It was damn sure better than Forrest Gump. Uh, anyhow, um, I'm not going to do those anymore because, you know, unless something is nominated for Best Picture, I might bite the bullet just so I say I've seen all the Best Picture nominees and still shit on them, even though I thought Scarlett Johansson was uh, terrific in uh, Marriage Story. I wouldn't have nominated her. I wouldn't have voted for her because that's not... That's not a cinematic film. It's a TV movie. I just, I'm sorry. That's uh, that's my um, uh, that's my movie hill. I will die on. These are not real movies. They're TV movies. Anyhow, I uh, hope y'all like this video. Hope y'all enjoy my stuff. I'm gonna go see what all that fuss fussing is about. I'm Jake Davis, and I'll catch you on the fly.